Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I love to travel. Today we're gonna be talking about the five items that I always pack in my suitcase regardless where I'm traveling, whether it's domestically, internationally, and even whether it's winter or summer, I'm always packing these five items. The first item is a travel size blanket. So I don't know about you, but I am always cold and on airplanes, it's freezing doesn't even matter if I turn off the vent, point it in a different direction, I'm always cold. And even in Airbnbs and hotels, they have super thin sheets and beddings and oftentimes they do not provide extra blankets. So having my own blanket that I pack with me does come in handy. This one that I have is a lap size travel size blanket it is 34 inches by 48 inches and i think i yeah i actually got this um, from a flight back when they handed out blankets on flights this is from northwest airlines if you can see the tag and i did some research and delta actually bought out nwa back in 2008 so if that gives you any indication of how long i've had this blanket there you go. In addition to this blanket, I do have another travel blanket that I alternate between packing. So this one I have rolled up into a packing cube. If you haven't seen my packing carry-on only video, I'll link that in the description, but I do use packing cubes when I pack. Um, having it in a bag or a packing cube is actually convenient. Um, if you didn't want to use it as a blanket, it serves as a pillow. You can either pack it in your suitcase or it has a handle. You can carry it as its own little bag or slide it over the handle of your suitcase. So stowing it in a packing cube is kind of handy. Now I know that packing a travel blanket is bulky. So if you didn't want to use a packing cube and pack it in your suitcase, another option would be to wear the blanket as a shawl or a scarf. Um, and that way it can just be part of your person instead of using space in your personal item or your suitcase. So that is an option, but I love having a blanket with me no matter where I go. The second item that I always pack with me is a noise machine. Now I know that sounds a little silly, but hear me out. I am such a light sleeper that having some ambient noise really helps me fall asleep and stay asleep. Also, Airbnbs are typically in less desirable neighborhoods. They can have a lot of traffic. You may be hearing sirens or they're in a row of short-term rental properties in which lots of people are staying and they could be staying out late, playing loud music, partying. If you want to drown out some of that music, having a noise machine kind of helps break up that noise and um, have some what, ASMR? Some fan noise. This one also serves as a Bluetooth speaker, so you can connect it to your phone or tablet, and you can adjust the direction of the speaker to project your sound. So, in addition to being a noise machine that has about, I believe, 10 different sounds, fan sounds, rainfall, um, others, you can listen to your music. So. That can be really handy if you want to have a little dance party in your Airbnb or hotel or poolside um, if your rules and regulations allow. Read those. Sometimes they don't. This one I've had I think about three years and I, I even use it in my own home every night and it's lasted me. If I could find this, um, I'll link that down below. The third item that I always pack is an eye mask. So kind of running with a little theme here of sleeping but I really value my sleep. And if you're traveling to different destinations, depending why, if you have to be up early, you wanna get a good night's sleep, that's important. Like I mentioned, I'm a light sleeper and I like it dark. Any little bit of light, just I just cannot, it distracts me. I cannot get to sleep. On those off chance that the room that I'm staying in is super bright, it has an alarm clock, a smoke detector light, light seeping in from under the door, through the curtains because there's not blackout curtains, having an eye mask, Pretty awesome. The fourth item that I always pack, regardless of weather specifically, winter, summer, whatever, is a swimming suit. Now, I know that sounds a little strange as well, but there was a situation a while back in which I was visiting family that were staying at a hotel and it was in the off season, but everyone wanted to go swimming. And I was having such a great time hanging out with my family and I wanted to join them, but I did not bring my swimming suit because the weather outside 
was not conducive to swimming, so I didn't even think about it. I rushed around from store to store looking to see if they had any swimsuits. Since it was the off season, it was very slim pickings. I did find one, but it was not a pretty swimsuit. It was quite embarrassing. So I vowed from that point always, anywhere I traveled, to have a swimsuit. If I don't use it, that's fine. Um, swimsuits are kind of uh, multi-purpose, so you can even use them as undergarments. So even if you're not swimming, you can still use them and make them multi-purpose and function for you. So you're not just taking up space in your suitcase, you can make them work for you. But having a swimsuit, regardless of the weather, will make sure that you are not caught in a situation that I was having to wear a nasty swimsuit <laughs> just to hang out with your family. The fifth item that I always pack is a plastic grocery bag. Now, I know, don't come at me, the plastic. And all you environmentalists, if you want to use an eco-friendly biodegradable bag, do it. I just happen to have lots of extra plastic grocery bags from some of my shopping. So I like to reuse them and pack them, fold them up. They take up no space in your suitcase because they serve as very multifunction. Um, your wet swimming suit, if you're heading home and your swimsuit hasn't dried, put them in a bag. If your shoes are muddy and you don't want dirt getting everywhere in your bag, put them in a bag. Uh, if the place that you're staying, you ran out of trash bags, I notice a lot that the trash can in bathrooms will sometimes be missing a liner or bag and that kind of grosses me out, so I bring my own for trash. So you never know when this would come in handy grocery shopping, you have a bag, um, just having just a kind of a plastic bag um, does come in handy. They fold up really small, take up zero space. Uh, if plastic isn't your thing or the biodegradable, I also do keep kind of a nylon drawstring bag in my suitcase for other purposes, but these are disposable. So if you have trash, put them in the, the garbage can. Um, just keep things a little bit more hygienic. So those have a multitude of reasons. So I always have at least one or two folded up in my suitcase when I travel. So those are the five items that I always, always, always pack in my suitcase when I travel, regardless of where I'm going. I'm curious to know what are some things that you can't leave home without. So leave a comment below on some items that you always pack in your suitcase, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.